Kingsman, the Golden Circle, didn't run, burst, or explode into theaters. It strode in, gentleman-like, to grace our eyeballs with posh car chases and debonair fight scenes. Director Matthew Vaughn once again went to outrageous extremes with the action and violence, pursuing what he called my spinal tap of trying to find 11 with every scene. Polish your Oxfords and drain that martini, because here are all the Easter eggs you missed in Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Deadly Briefcase Neither Kingsman movie has been shy about referencing James Bond, the granddaddy of all spy franchises. But the Golden Circle went a step further and appropriated one of 007's own weapons for young Eggsy, with upgrades, of course. The machine gun briefcase he uses during the film's climactic raid on Poppyland was a callback to Sean Connery's Bond, who used a similar weaponized business accessory in From Russia With Love. Of course, that one didn't fold out into a bulletproof shield, but hey, it had a knife. And speaking of Bond, Flying Colors. Midway through the film, the Golden Circle delivers an action-packed sequence in which Eggsy and Whiskey find themselves skidding down a mountain slope in a ski lift car, barreling toward a bunch of tourists in the lodge at the bottom of the mountain. In a flash of gentlemanly genius, Eggsy pops Whiskey's parachute to slow them down. Since Whiskey is a statesman, the parachute is the brightest American flag Betsy Ross ever dreamed of. Bond lovers probably caught the reference. In Roger Moore's 1977 The Spy Who Loved Me, the opening scene has Bond ski off a cliff to certain death only to open his parachute at the last moment, blazing the colors of the British flag. Snowy mountains, a plunge to the death, and a last-minute parachute emblazoned with stately pride? Definitely a nod to Bond. Marquee Master Keeping Elton John as her piano slave is just one of the villainous Poppy's messed-up moves, but it gave us one quick Easter egg. On the marquee outside the theater where she makes Elton play is a sign advertising Captain Fantastic, an obscure reference to his album Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. And if you caught the other side of the marquee, you probably saw the lettering saying The Bitch Is Back, which is an Elton John song. Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting also makes an appearance in the film. Elton tweaked it a little in the film to celebrate Wednesday, the day he was getting rescued. Benny and Jet Poppy's got a real thing going for Elton John in the Golden Circle. Not only did she kidnap him, she also named her dogs for him. We're talking, of course, about the Robo Pooches. If you watch closely, you can see their names pop up on screen several times. Benny and Jet. And you might know where this is going. Benny and the Jets is a song John released in 1973 on his album Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Comic Rockets The opening chase sequence is a death-defying spectacle, employing Matthew Vaughn's signature frenetic camera work. When Eggsy finally gets the go-ahead for Merlin to return fire on Poppy's goons, he does it in the most badass way possible, pushing a button and sending three rockets flying into the air to come back down on the three vehicles pursuing him. In the original comic the movie's based on, The Secret Service, Eggsy uses the same weapon to shake murderous pursuers, again in the opening scene of the story. Granted, he's on a snowmobile at the time and the people chasing him are on skis, but the result is still exactly the same. Exploded bad guys. Deleted scene. In January 2017, Taron Edgerton revealed that the Kingsman sequel would feature a deleted scene from the first movie. He told Den of Geek it was one he personally thought shouldn't have been cut, and that's now in the second film. But what is it? I don't think I can say. But now that the movie's out, we can tell you what scene he's talking about. Nope, it's not the one with young Michael Caine. It's the one when Harry teaches Eggsy how to eat like a gentleman at breakfast. In the Golden Circle, the scene shows up when Eggsy's girlfriend is trying to prepare him for dinner with her parents, the king and queen of Sweden. So why was it cut? It had a really bad effect that it also looked like they might have slept with each other the night before. Heroic Reward One of the funniest and most controversial scenes in Kingsman The Secret Service came at the end, when the Swedish princess offered Eggsy a certain sexual favor in return for saving the world. Of course, Princess Tildy is back in the Golden Circle, this time in a much larger role as Eggsy's girlfriend. Their relationship has evolved since the 30 seconds of screen time they had together in the first film, but Tildy still knows how to motivate her boyfriend. Just before he jets off to save the world, she reminds him what he'll get if he does a good job. Considering the backlash against the joke in the first movie, it took a certain amount of moxie for Vaughn to stick another reference to it in the sequel. Who says chivalry is dead? Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.